Okay, so we're working on Voronoi diagrams and we are going to consider we want to construct a new branch at H, which is 66, 28 is the point. So here is 66 is up here and 28 is going to be about, let me just see here. So here's 30 going across here. So I believe here is going to be our H. Okay, and so, fair enough, and so now what I want to do is I want to create my perpendicular bisectors. And I know, so I'm going to estimate these, and I'm just going to sketch them out here, just kind of dot on them between H and G, J. Here's the middle, and I'm going to perpendicular it until I hit the boundary. Now that I'm on this boundary, it's with I. So now I look for the middle between I, and I want to make it perpendicular. So it's going to be straight across because it's they're both, this is 66, 12 as well. So it's going to be a horizontal line here. Now I've hit the boundary with E, so E and H. I'm going to find the midpoint, which will be about here. I'm going to be perpendicular, which will bring me about there. And so now this is the boundary with G and H. And so if I look between G and H, here is... The midpoint and about right there, I think, is going to be the perpendicular. And so here is my region as such, something like that. And so if I could erase the lines that are there, I would erase, let me, I would erase this one here, this one, all these in here, I should erase them away. Okay, so that is A part. So now B part says the bank wants to add one more branch in the area bounded by E, G, H, and I. And so here is G. And so when I look at that, I want it to be bounded by here. So I'm looking at this vertex, this vertex, and that's the only one bounded by because this is bounded by J. This one's bounded by E and H, E, I, H. This is E, G, H. And so I'm looking at these two values here. So if I call this one L and this one M, I'm looking for the distance. Now, I recognize that they are closest, all closest to H, right? So L is here and E. And J, so this is the one they have in common. So I'm going to look for these distances here. And so I'm going to calculate by the distance formula LH and MH. And so I would have to find these lines of intersection, which is quite intensive. I can estimate this circle here. And let me see what I can come up with. And so there's the one circle. Let's see if here's the other circle. So those circles are pretty darn close to each other. But I think it's going to be L. And so in order to find it, I'm going to have to actually find these perpendicular bisectors, find this coordinate point, and then do the distance formula. Um, that is a lot of tedious work, but that's the process you have to go through. And so I am going to say L. Oh. L is the largest circle for this problem here. You will also note that this is a different answer than the back than the back. They talked about F being in there, so I think there is a mistake in the book's answer key.